another my video uh, as you can probably know from the title of this video is my own ranking of the Emperor of the Sea from One Piece no please note that I will be including Luffy as the fifth as an Emperor since my definition of the Emperor is not the strongest of the sea but the pirate crews who are who have achieved uh, popularity and what's the word I'm uh, reputation that they are well known across the sea across the islands the cities households that that's why Whitebeard was considered what the heck there's even a children's song about Whitebeard in the One Piece world that's how well known he is so I'm all, I'm gonna consider uh, Luffy since Luffy is now well known across the world and thanks thanks to that report from Mor Morgans that newspaper report from Morgans he's, he is now considered as an emperor so I'll consider Luffy as an emperor of the sea and I'm gonna rank all of those all of the current current emperor and the previous including Whitebeard of course so let, without further ado let's get on started with my weakest with a weakest uh, emperor we probably you guys probably know who's the weakest emperor right now mm. many of you see this coming but from the picture that is posted right around my right um, video maybe in here or maybe in here picture right in here definitely in here it's monkey deal luffy yep luffy is by far the weakest i consider it as a number as a supernova he is powerful but i don't think he can compare to like blackbeard or someone like big mom he barely escaped big mom's territory like he sacrificed a lot like jimbe has to stay to big mom to big mom's territories just for luffy and the others to escape and Pedro, poor Pedro, R.I.P. Pedro, rest in peace, <laughs> died just for them to escape. Like, they, these people, die. I feel like the Fishman Pirates definitely will die. But I don't think Jinbei will die now. I don't think, but Luffy, Luffy as an emperor, he barely even beat Katakuri. I consider that a victor because he as long as luffy escaped that's a victory so he barely beat katakuri heck freaking cracker he, he could not beat cracker without nami's help so he's definitely at the yonko commander level he's by far the weakest out of the yonko but as a supernova he's definitely powerful i feel like he can def defeat at least Probably a vice admiral, yeah. Probably a vice admiral because I don't really know. Maybe he can kind of fight off Kizaru, but ah, uh, yeah, Kizaru. But I don't think he can fully defeat Kizaru, yeah. Maybe a vice admiral, <laughs> he's like at that level. So Luffy is by far my weakest, and the next one is kind of tricky. I next one is as you can probably see from this this picture right here is Big Mom. I've always thought ever since she was introduced that Big Mom is probably gonna be the weakest one because remember we have Kaido the king of beasts like I feel like some people even theorize that Kaido is a demon or Kaido is a dragon some theories say that or Whitebeard, who apparently the only one who can injure Kaido or Shanks, who is Kaido from the War of the Best. So, and Blackbeard has two devil fruits. I don't know if Blackbeard has hockey. Probably he does. He does. He probably does. But Big Mom, I think, was the weakest, which is a shame because he has such he has such an interesting devil fruit, like. I think if Oda spend more time with him, maybe she can be a threat. 
she could she could be a threat bigger than Blackbeard, but I feel like Big Mom is just there. Number five, like if without Luffy, there she is. Pro it's it didn't change. She's probably the weak the weakest Yonko. Like this is just my opinion, but Big Mom is definitely the weaker the weakest Yonko of them all. If Luffy, I didn't include Luffy, but as a it doesn't mean that he's the weakest one because we all saw from Hulk Cake Island that Big Mom can do can get shut down. He has the freaking uh uh what's the sweet commander Katakuri is definitely a threat. The billion the the billion the billion berry man is never a threat. Yes, a lot, she has a lot of she can probably she probably can take out like an entire an entire fleet of marines like that's e that's easy so number five second weakest for me is big mom but still stronger than luffy though still stronger than luffy but for me in my opinion big mom is definitely weaker than kaido blackbeard whitebeard and shanks so that's my number five my rank number five of the emperor of the sea we're down for our top three Yonkos and I'm gonna say this is gonna be a surprise for you guys but this is by far I think the ranking in my opinion of the Emperor of the Sea as you can see in this in this picture right here I can my number three is taken by Whitebeard which makes sense that white I feel like uh, Whitebeard is definitely stronger than Shanks, but I put Shanks on the top list because Whitebeard is now deceased. Like I think Shanks would have been would have surpassed Whitebeard in two years. And not to mention, he's Shanks is kind of the last last boss that Luffy has to fight. So I think Whitebeard number three kind of makes sense. It because he did. Scar, he is stronger than Kaido. It is proven that he kind of beat down Kaido, which in turn I think Kaido is stronger than Big Mom, and Kaido is stronger than Luffy. So, number three in the number three spot is Whitebeard smashing through the number three spot is Whitebeard. Yep, <laughs> more, more creative, funny lines for me. Number three is Whitebeard, and number two, which is kind of a surprise as well, because yeah, let's get on this. Black. Oh no no. Okay, Blackbeard. <laughs> yeah, uh, kind of a surprise because I really think Whitebeard is still stronger. But after that, after what happened in Marineford, like Blackbeard stronger than Kaido and Big Mom, I think I would have thought. Freaking Blackbeard would be in the five, in the fifth place. But when I was watching Marine Ford, the Marine Ford arc, it just dawned me that he is the only one in the series who has seemingly absorbed two of the Devil Fruit. One of those Devil Fruits, he absorb, can nullify other Devil Fruits. So even without hockey, if he does have hockey, even without it. He is still a strong and a threat to the world government, to the other pirates, to the other Yonkos, even without hockey. But if he does have hockey, even more of a threat to them. So, number two, just because he has two devil fruit and one, and not to mention the, in the yummy yummy nomi's nullification of other devil fruit and the tremor tremor fruit. It's just kind of that's just kind of too much like no <laughs> yep <laughs> just no way I'm gonna put this one like just in the top two shit but I feel like one person can totally def can totally wreck black it's, that's my number one thing it's he's a young girl too so without further ado let's go on my number one all of us
despite the the fact that I am a big fan of freaking fairy tale and a big fan of guild arts as much as as much as I do want to admit that guild arts is a rip off of Shanks. Oh my goodness. I just I just love Shanks how OP is. I don't think he has a devil fruit, but just just the fact that I don't think he's a, he has a devil fruit and he is by far the strongest out of the Yonkos. It just makes him really, really OP and I really love it. Shanks is by far my strongest Yonko ever. So, please leave in the cut. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy contents like this in the future. And please let me know in the comment section who's your weakest who, who's your weakest to strongest uh uh emperor of the sea so if you don't agree just please leave a comment down there if you have your own rankings so see you in the next video you guys